Hey, what's up, fellas? It's about, uh, it's beautiful out here. Got the uh, houses. Beautiful, clear sky. Neighbor just sold his house. Jesus, he got like seven offers on the first day. Got the uh, hoopty in here. Uh, went back to the range. Did some shooting. I use a uh, trickle charger to make my uh, battery last uh, more than five years. You wouldn't believe how many, uh, how much a modern car draws just, I don't know if it's nano or pico. I know pico is a trillionth, and I know nanos, I think, uh, a million. So anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, I'm feeling a little inspired today, and I got a couple of uh, sh more short videos I'm going to do to try to help you out as a man. And, and they're not in any sort of sequence or anything like that, but... Um, a little bit about me, um, 57, I live in the west side of El Paso, Texas, uh, I've been retired since age 46, um, meaning I haven't worked, I used my three plans to get out early, and, um, I'm, 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 the first thing I'm going to tell you about is, uh, as a man, as men, we do not have the luxury of feeling sorry for ourselves. It is never about how many times you get knocked out, knocked down. It matters how much you get up and you go, fuck, that sucked. You cannot feel sorry for yourself because of your circumstances that you had no control over. The thing you must focus on is the things that you can control. You can control your mind. You can control your attitude. You can control your drive. You can control the way you look at life and move your way through life. You don't have to be angry all the time. You should be objective about where you want to go and how do I want to get there. You have control over when you get up and when you go to sleep. You have control over the things you put into your body. You have control over when you show up for a job, early, barely on time, or late. These are all things that can change your life, but they're little itty-bitty steps. And one of the biggest things that will destroy your life as a man is if you feel sorry for yourself. It's called a pity party. It's called giving yourself a checkup from the neck up. Being positive is a very important part of being a man, a successful man. Now, my advice isn't for any of you Uber athletes or Uber munitions or trust fund babies. My, all my advice is just for the regular hardworking young men that are coming up behind me. Okay? You, as a good average man, do not ever have the luxury of feeling sorry for yourself. If you make a mistake, own it. Figure out how and why you made that mistake and don't do it again. If you drink too much, stop. If you're not exercising, start. If you eat too much, stop. You can survive on OMAD, which is one meal a day. You'd be surprised at the things you're capable of. If you do not feel sorry for yourself, you're not a victim. You're a man. And men are expected to make themselves valuable. All right? Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. You deserve it, and you're worth it. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.